so what is job repository here see job repository is the database backend storage used by spring batch to store all metadata about job execution job steps and their status here so it is kind of a we can store data to track purpose job repository here when you start your application this will be created automatically for you just we need to utilize in our application here it act like a tracking database for every job and step you are running here okay so every time a job starts whenever you are starting a job it will be run a step and it may fail it may succeed so job repository record that information in the special tables not with respect to your own tables so spring batch will create their own tables in the back end here then what are the tables it will be create means what are spring batch metadata tables here spring batch metadata table see here read this point spring batch automatically creates set of tables in your database to store details about job execution step execution parameters and status means what kind of metadata tables means which jobs are running at what time it is ran whether the job is success or failure how many records are processed what parameters we passed at the time of job execution okay these tables will help for monitoring restarting and debugging the batch jobs here guys so that's why very very important uh, these metadata tables to track your job why without metadata means there is no metadata information so what are the problems we have like uh, without tables we don't know which job is already ran or failed at what time i need to restart okay a specific point it is not possible at all so tracking your job performance is very hard here so that's why spring batch using these tables to manage and restart the jobs intelligently here so that's why metadata tables are required for our application here guys okay now what are the list of spring batch metadata tables whenever we are running our spring boot application for the first time it can create these below tables automatically here so we need to configure in our application like uh, they are providing mysql oracle postgres which database you are using all the scripts already given by the spring batch here how to load how to run everything will explain as well here so if you see these many number of tables it will create whenever you start for the first time here these tables are mandatory here guys so first one so all job instance means how many jobs you have that job information like and parameters as part of the job at what time it is started some parameters i can pass that is about job instance then job execution okay each run of your same job you can run multiple times correct so uh, same job if you are running 100 times that information i can see in the job execution here then as part of this execution we have few more metadata information to maintain job execution parameters job execution context here so these three tables are linked specific to one category here anyway when we are implementing in our application 
we will show you all the tables what data it is creating we will be explain you as well then step execution it will store information about each step inside a job and job execution sequence job sequence job step execution sequence a lot of things we have so don't care about while seeing these tables so how these tables are connected means this is about your parent job and same job we can run that is job execution inside a job execution we have few more tables we have okay and then <clears throat> then each step has a execution context why because one job can have many executions i have one execution can have multiple steps also we have but how they are created in our spring boot application here it will be done automatically if we are using our spring boot application we need to add one property spring dot batch dot jdbc initializing the schema always we need to enable this property automatically all tables it will be create for your application in the latest version sometimes it may it is creating sometimes may not creating we have an alternative approach also we have sql scripts we have see under this package org dot spring framework dot see schema hyphen mysql so under this file we can load from our application as part of the okay implementation you will learn lot of things here guys which is unknown to you here okay so we will be do step by step here okay the real time use cases means if you see so restart a failed job you have a job i want to restart a job so that information it will be there under batch job execution batch step execution and audit job whenever you are starting a job we will share some parameters those parameters will be available under execution params here monitor job performance at what time it is started what time it is end what is the status here intermediate data if we have some data intermediately internally it will be used another table execution context it will be used we will not much about use this activity remaining tables execution step execution job execution we will be thoroughly will monitor in our application as well here what are the step by step flow how it is happening to know about step by step flow see here we need to register a new job instance means like some name of the job name see this is my job name now we need to create a job execution to maintain a status means status equal to starting and we need to create a step execution chunk processing we will be uh, discuss this point next later on sessions detail level discussion here on completion whether completed or failed here this is the flow will be happen now what we'll do step by step what is a job launcher okay we are going to discuss step by step flow let me show you the diagram to you one more time just a minute here oh shit. Um, just a minute uh, yeah so step by step flow now if you take in this architecture now you know whenever you are running our spring boot application some data metadata tables will create in our database here right so now what is the importance of each component every component is very important you need to understand why this component is required this is the spring batch architecture here guys 
the first component i am going to discuss about the job launcher here i want to run a job okay how many ways we have what is job launcher responsibilities we have okay how it is working internally i am going to start about the first component job launcher component here now see here what is a job launcher in spring boot see here job launcher is the spring batch component responsible for starting a batch job with given set of parameters so it is the entry point for our application this is the entry point to run any batch job programmatically guys read the second point is very important programmatically i want to launch the job by using job launcher here if this job launcher directly used by the user why because i want to run my job when you hit a end point i can run also job launcher can be directly used by the user also here okay so job launcher can be directly used by the user so basically if anyone want to launch a job in our spring boot application one of the option we have called job launcher very simple point guys so you can it is a kind of a simple interface for controlling the jobs responsible for managing the starting and manage the actual execution of the job it's kind of a interface implementation class is simple job launcher here you, this job launcher interface it will provide a, a status called job execution see job launcher return job execution instance it will give information about either completed either failed or anything so this is the first component in our application job launcher here what kind of responsibilities how to start the job and we can discuss also simple point to trigger the job we need the job launcher okay now what kind of to launch the job first we need to take a job object and job parameters here like a date file name etc and it will create a job execution it will start the job and return the object these four steps are involved here guys till now what are the terminology we learn uh, let me create a notepad now let me create a file what are the one first one is called job launcher this using this job launcher i can create the job to create a job we need the job parameters also required here remember this point guys step by step i am explaining so that at the time of implementation it will be easy for you if you learn this theory okay now then it will create a job execution it will start the job reader processor writer and what object you will get job execution job execution it will give either completed or either fail imagine right now the terminology till now what we discussed is job launcher job execution that means the return type of the job launcher is job execution guys whether your job is success or failure simple how how to launch the job see here you can auto wire in our application what will happen job launcher dot run method you need to provide your job name and job parameters here in the next sessions we'll discuss about what is a job 
what is the params here so what it will happen whenever you are running your job it will verify whether your job is already started whether your job is already failed or when you run this one complete job details execution details step details everything will be stored into metadata tables like for your information inside our databases see here job execution job instance step execution complete information are able to see if you click on the job instance see this is my job name for this job name we have some parameters also we have like what kind of parameter i can provide my timestamp at what time it is triggered i can monitor also here so you can remember this statement this statement is very important here okay now till now how we done job launcher manually we are running here manual trigger your job launcher dot job this is the manual we have another option we have another option we have first for manual trigger second i want to automate means scheduler this is both approaches we are going to discuss see job launcher with scheduler here job launcher with scheduler s c h e d u l yeah automate the scheduler like you can also combine with at the rate scheduled annotation if you this is a spring scheduler in our e-commerce application you have an orders inside your csv file now i want to take the file i want to process i want to store into database here now how many options every day night one o'clock or two o'clock or three o'clock i want to trigger my job so uh, so oh, there is no manual step here i can using scheduler i can provide some regular expression cron expression every day night 12 o'clock run this specific job every day morning six o'clock run this job in this way we can configure our scheduler for using the job launcher also here this is the context about the job launcher with scheduler here hope you are clear right now scheduler which annotation at the rate okay scheduler schedule annotation here we can provide regular expression like every day okay like uh, every 30 seconds i want to run my job here got it so to launch a job we have two options one manual trigger job launcher dot job second by using the scheduler same job launcher i can schedule my job here this is the first component we discussed about the job launcher here guys okay so that's all for today's session thank you